She's half sister, we've got the same dad. He married this woman, Yvonne. I was about six. She's loaded, Yvonne. She sells boats. What's the sister called? Judith. There's a woman down our road getting married. She's not called Judith. So did you get on? Hardly know her. Oh, why is that then? Bad blood. No, she lives in Macclesfield. Uh, if you're in the pub after work, there's a couple of drinks on me. Sally's going to be there. We're celebrating. We've just got engaged. <laughs> Pass the word round. Wedding fever. Clever little bastard. You know Sally out there. You're engaged. Me too. Good luck, then. And you. May the best man <laughs> and all that. Guess what he's done. He's only gone and bought shares in the company. 300 quid's worth. And he just so happened to tell that Mrs Fletcher. In passing. In passing my left leg. He's fighting dirty bins. I don't care. I'm going to get that job. You both did very well. There's only one job on offer. It's just a shame you can't both succeed. Absolutely. Yeah, pity, uh, I'd better, um... Mrs. Fletcher, I have to insist, something happened on the 14th. I demand that you talk to this creature. Oi! That's my mother. And that's your problem, Vince. <gasps> Graham, as a friend of mine, is very fond of saying, fuck off. Oh, that's nice. That's how the deputy manager reacts. Listen to that. What an example. Fine family. All of them. And you know what? He's right. Fuck off isn't enough. Marcy. Yes, sir. The floor's yours, and the subject is Christmas 99. Thank you, Mr Chairman. Right, point of order. If Graham Beck is so keen on the truth, why didn't he try telling his fiance that Christmas 99 he shagged me in refrigeration? I knew it! Or maybe it just felt like refrigeration. I did not, I swear to God. Small dick. That's him. Come here, you bastard. Come All here. of you, sit down. Hey, oh, you have the next one. She's a Sally. Thanks. 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 Thanks.